I just watched a video by Iman Gaji and it was a very compelling first half especially of the video talking about phone detox. He called it monk mode but it was just detoxing from your phone by just limiting phone use, not using it for the first six hours after waking up, making your phone grayscale, not listening to music within the first six hours of waking up, eating breakfast as late as possible, extending your fast. And I was thinking yeah I have been spending too much time on my phone lately. I don't like that I'm spending my time on my screen all the time. This is especially true during this month that I'm doing online dating. It's time to go on a phone diet. I can use it later on in the day, but until I get shit done that I need to get done, I am going to limit my phone use. There is one problem. I record my weight every day as well as keep track of my how long I've gone with no porn, no masturbation. So in the first thing in the morning after I weigh myself, use the bathroom, weigh myself, and then go to my phone, I record it on my phone. That's when I see all the notifications of the messages uh, that have happened overnight. That's including YouTube comments as well. So that's a bit of a tricky situation for me. I guess I could just ignore it and put my phone away, but I don't know if it'll get in the way just knowing that I have things to reply to that I'm just ignoring for now. So I haven't solved what I'm gonna do for that, but I guess I can just wait to reply later and just ignore them and see how that goes. My phone usage, just looking at, I have the, first of all, I made it grayscale again. I used to use grayscale for a bit and then to watch videos that people sent me I changed it back to color and then I just didn't like grayscale but this time I'm gonna try to stick to the great scale so it's all black and white and my screen time is right here it's already been almost two hours of screen time today lately it's been three to four hours of screen time although that's including driving time where I have the music app open and the screens on so and that includes phone time too so if I'm on the phone with Niels or one of my friends then the phone time will get logged as screen time as well so there's it's not entirely accurate but anyways it's it's grayscale now, so it's black and white. The other thing that I heard Iman say was to turn off notifications from everything. That is pretty extreme because then you don't know when you're getting a message from someone and you have to open up the app in order to check if you've gotten any missed messages or missed calls. So that I'm not willing to do personally. So just to recap, what I am willing to do is after my rec I record my weight and my no fap, no porn day, I'm going to ignore my phone and not reply to anything. And I'll start checking my phone after lunch, maybe at about 2 to 3 p.m. onwards. And also having it black and white, I think will encourage me to use my phone less, just reminds me that I shouldn't be using my phone right now, or at least keep my phone usage time to a minimum. I also just want to stop these, like opening up YouTube studio for no reason, just to see my subscriber count. I noticed that I do that quite often. I don't need to do that. I only need to open the app when I'm replying to a comment or yeah, that's pretty much the only time just to reply to a comment. And I usually just have to open the notification. So there's no reason to open the YouTube studio app on my phone. And since I'm uploading the videos from my computer, there really is no reason to check YouTube Studio. So yeah, let's try this phone diet, see how it goes. By the way, just an update for my NoFap. I think the last day of masturbation was December 31st or something like that. And since then I have gone tempted but have not, I guess it's called semen retention, some people call it. I have retained my semen for, um, it would be 17 days by the end of today. I've only been tempted one day or one night rather. But to be honest, I don't really notice a big difference of motivation or any even horniness or anything like that. I haven't really noticed a big difference at all when it comes to no fab. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. Um, since I'm not on a strict diet, but I'm allowed, I given myself, well, from the book Models by Mark Manson, he said you can go on a masturbation diet of once every two weeks. So I am open to fapping sometime, but I it hasn't even occurred to me that I really want to do it just yet. So I'm going to see how long I can keep this streak going. Although I've done this once in the past and I haven't seen any difference in motivation or anything like that. We'll see. It's an experiment. We'll see if any motivation or anything like that changes. Phone diet, here I come. 1% better every day, baby. It is minus 13 outside, it feels like minus 22 Celsius. So even Mochi doesn't want to go out. She doesn't want to follow me. <laughs> Actually, this is not as bad as I thought. I mean, my face is cold even with the mask on when the wind blows. But other than that, dressing up warmingly like this, I can walk for an hour like this. Last week, I only did three days of 
of working out and that's one full body workout. So I need to do that twice a week. So ideally six days a week with my current split up. Back to this week, it's already Wednesday, but let's do it. Push-ups, pull-ups, and dips. <clears throat> I'm cutting my workout a little bit short today, just over 17 minutes. I'm still out of shape compared to when I used to do this all the time over a month ago. So I have to build my way back up. Mission accomplished. Morning cuddles ticker. You want cuddles in the morning? Hmm? Bucci came as soon as I was finished recording my video. She's keeping me company. I think she's gonna stay as I edit the video. Bucci. Keeping me company? <laughs> <laughs>